are you? こんにちは、皆さん。お元気ですか ?Today, 空手ビデオ No.49 is nearly 50. And today's theme is about 神座。神座 and 下座。So this is not only for 空手家 but also for anyone who are interested in Japanese culture because 神座 this, this is very important. At first, I'm going to explain you about this kanji. Kami za. Well, this kami, here we pronounce kami, but you know this is ue. Up, ue. Upward, ue. Also, we can pronounce jo, like jodan. Oh, jodan, jodan, age uke. De agemas, a. Agemas, de a. But here we pronounce kami, so everything up. This means upward. Za, this is the kanji from suarimas. Suarimas is to sit down. So that literally it means sitting down or the up seat. And shimoza, this kanji, one, two, three. This is shita, down. Downward, and also we can pronounce ka or ge, like ge dan, ge dan barai, like this. But here we pronounce shimo, shimo za. So literally, that it means down seat, like up seat, down seat. And kamisa is the place where someone, some very special person, some important person. Sit. This is kamiza. And shimoza is contrary. So not important persons. So kamiza is for something, someone special. Someone we must respect. This is kamiza and shimoza is the contrary. In Japan, we use this term kamiza in everywhere. But now at first, I'm going to tell you about in dojo. Well, kamiza is the place Oh yeah, this is the farthest place, the farthest place from the entrance. Because the entrance, many people come and go. So it's very easy to be get mm, disturbed. So Kamiza is the farthest place, the farthest face, the long face from the entrance. This is Kamiza. And there, there's Kamidana. Kamidana is displayed in Kamiza. In Japanese society, this concept of Kamiza and Shimoza is quite important. And if you don't know it, maybe Japanese people might think you are not well educated. So it, it's, I think it's better that you know it. So let's learn it. For example, in the case of taxi, There's also the place, the best place, top place, Kamiza, the top place, the safest place. This is just behind the driver. Behind the driver is Kamiza. And the rank, the next rank is behind the, the front passenger. And the last one in the middle, the back, the back seat, but in the middle, because it's not so safe. In the case of accident, maybe this person can go front. And after, just、uh, the side of the driver, this is the place, <laughs> this is the place for the person who pays for the taxi. In the airplane or train, the passenger sitting the top seat, Kamiza, is the passenger's. Who is sitting by the window. And the next is the aisle. Aisle seat. And the last one is in the middle seat. In any room, in restaurants, or in dojo, Kamiza is the farthest place from the entrance. In that place, this is the most comfortable, the safest. And also the warmest. The best place is the farthest place 
from the entrance or from the door. This is Kamiza. And have you ever seen Japanese film about shogun or any samurais? In this case, when there's meeting, do you remember where shogun is sitting? Well, that place is Kamiza. Kamiza? The farthest place from the door, from the entrance. And there are other, many other samurais. But shogun, the top boss, is sitting in Kamiza. Because in that way, he is safe from any kind of attack. There are many, many soldiers, many, many, many other samurais. Before I show you some pictures to explain you better in detail, but at first, I'd like to show you how to write in kanji some words. The first one is washitsu, washitsu. Well, this wa, we write like this. Wa is from no, from katakana. Boom, this is no from katakana, and then ki. Three. One, two, three, four. This is three. And here, one, two, three. This is just like the rariru de ro, ro from katakana, or also mouth, kuchi, this one. And this wa together, this means Japan. Japan, this is wa. For example, fuku, clothes. If I say wafuku, wafuku, Japanese clothes, Japanese traditional clothes. What that? That is just the same as kimono. I think you know the word kimono. Kimono and wafuku, this is, this is just the same thing. Hmm? Wa. So wa, this is Jap Japan. Shitsu, we write like this. Ukanmuri is one, two, three. It's like U from katakana, but very short here, not long. Ukamuri and Ichi, one from the kanji, and Mu, Mami Mu from katakana, and Tsuchi, the soil from kanji, one, two, three, like doyobi, do, or Tsuchi. Well, this Shitsu, this is room, room. For example, if I say kyo shitsu, kyo shitsu, kyo, this is the kanji from oshiemas. Oshiemas is to teach. So the room to teach, room where you use to teach something, this is the classroom, like this kyo shitsu, classroom. And washitsu, Japanese style, room. Tokonoma, tokonoma. I think this is, you know, tokonoma. Hmm? I don't know if there's any kind of special translation, but tokonoma, it's like an alcove. Hmm. Because toko, this is the place where you sleep. Ma, ma, this is space. Also, we can read like kan, but this is space. You know, my, because my, this word we use in martial arts, my, this is also the space. Toko no ma, the same kanji. Toko no ma, alko. Toko no ma is a recessed space in a Japanese style reception room. And this is elevated place in the corner of washitsu. And this place is sacred place. And kamiza is just in front. The kamiza, the top seat, is for near this area. And tokomachi first appeared in the late muromachi period. And that is between the 14th century and 16th century. And stepping with it, within it is strictly forbidden, except to change the display. 
when a strict etiquette must be followed. The pillar on the side of the tokonoma, called tokobashira, is usually made of wood, specially prepared for the purpose. Kakejiku. Kakejiku. Kake. This comes from the verb kakemas to hang, to hang something. For example, koko ni koto o kakemas. I hang my coat here. Kakemas. And also we can say denwa o kakemas. I call someone. Denwa o kakemas. Rin, rin. And jiku. Jiku, this means axis or shaft. In, in, in karate, we use jiku ashi. Jiku ashi. So the ashi is the leg. So jiku ashi, axis, leg. Kakejiku. But all together, kakejiku, we um, translate like a scroll, uh, um, hanging scroll, or wall scroll. This is kakejiku. Here you can see kakejiku. A Japanese hanging scroll used to display and exhibit paintings and calligraphy inscriptions and designs. Mounted usually with silk fabric. Edges on a flexible backing so that it can be rolled for storage. Because we usually change this kakejiku every season in a year. So we can enjoy enjoy the different scenery here in Tokonoma. There is a cylindrical rod called jikugi at the bottom, which becomes the axis or center of the rolled scroll. Ikebana. Ikebana. I. This kanji i, also we can say sei from sensei, or also u from umaremas to be born, umaremas, or ikimas to live, not die, to live. This is ikimas. And here, ikebana. This here, bana. But this is hana, flower, ikebana. Well, ikebana, mm, this is the Japanese traditional art of flower arrangement. So very, very specially Japanese. This is ikebana. And also, we must learn kado. So the kado and ikebana, it's like the both flower arrangement, Japanese style flower arrangement, but the difference is ikebana is the flower that is arranged, but kado, well, here we use the kanji of do, pass, like karate do, judo, kendo, aikido, kudo, all kind of do, this is the path. We must learn for a long, long time. Many, many, many years. So this is do from ka. This ka, it means flower. Then I wrote here flower, hana, in the red one, because this uh, there's a difference. This hana, this is only flower. We see flower, like tulip. Or, so this is Flower, only flower. But this ka, here also we can say hana, the same, like hana ka, hana ika. But this, this one, it, its meaning is like so beautiful, so gorgeous as flower. This is the meaning of this kanji. Hmm? So, so beautiful, so bright. Oh, how beautiful, like flowers, this is it. So the path to achieve this beauty. This is kado. Kado or ikebana 
is a traditional Japanese art originating from the Heian period, in which flowers and plants are specially arranged in a vase for appreciation. Those flowers are usually displayed in Tokonoma. It is said that Ikebana began when the Buddhist monk offered flowers before a mortuary tablet. Flowers and plants in Ikebana represent human life and express its beauty and venerableness. In Ikebana, flowers also represent heaven, earth, and man, which are to be arranged in a proper balance. People enjoy seeing the mystic power of plants expressed in the flower organ. It was traditionally learned by women as part of bridal training. In Japanese society, the level or the rank of the people are quite important. So it's, it's a little bit difficult for, for foreigners, but for example, okyakusama, okyakusama, this is customers, or client, or visitors. Okyakusama, we must treat with, with respect. So they are like a superior. It means they must sit in the seat of the owner. This is kamiza, okyakusama. And joshi. Well, joshi, this kanji jo, up, right? Shi, this is like a person. Joshi is your superior, your boss. Joshi. Joshi. Well, the boss, there are many, many words. For example, shacho, uh, shacho, bucho, kakaricho. So there are lots of, lots of superior. But joshi is any kind of superior. So joshi. So if you are with your joshi to go to a restaurant, then you must know where this joji, joshi can sit down and where you sit down. So it's so it's a Japanese manner, joshi. And also sensei, sensei, sensei is the teacher. Sensei, we must respect. So sensei is also sits in the seat of honor. In Japan, we've got these very unique words. Senpai, and the contrary is kohai. Senpai and kohai. And this is quite difficult because senpai is like a senior, kohai is like a junior, but not exactly like this. Senpai, this sen, is before. Senpai is, for example, in the same school, the same school or in the same company, only one year elder, this is your senpai, just only one year. So for example, a 15 year old boy with his, his classmates, he's talking just a normal way. But with someone, a 16 year old, he the 16 year old is his senpai. So this 15 year old boy must speak to senpai with lots of respect. It means with keigo. So it's very important to learn keigo too, because in our society, there are times where we can speak just normally with our families, with very closest friends. But in the company, or to the senpai, we must speak to speak with more respect. Senpai, so just one year elder, and kohai. So um, younger one, 
後輩。So, you know the senpai, if, if they go to the restaurant, senpai is in the kamiza, the best seat, and kohai in shimoza. So, we use this kamiza and shimoza, this kind of things, in the, all our society. And in dojo, I remember you, kamiza is where there is kamidana. And usually, that must be very far from the door, far from the entrance. This is kamiza. Okay? And shimoza is just contrary of kamiza. So if kamiza here, then just the opposite, this is shimoza. Okay? So kamiza and shimoza are not used only in dojo, but in all our society in Japan. So it's very good to know it, because if you don't know it, maybe this is not well educated. Okay? Did you like this video? Do you think it was useful for you? If so, please give me a like. And if you share my videos with your friends, that will help me a lot. If you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe it. Because in my channel like this, I talk about Japanese culture, like anime culture, or, or like this, the martial arts, and also Japanese language, grammars, vocabulary. So you can learn lots of things in my channel. 今日もここまで見てくださってどうもありがとうございます。では、ぜひチャンネル登録といいねボタン、そして私のビデオを友達とシェアしていただけたらとても嬉しいです。では、また会いましょう。バイバイ。